At Zyflow, we use two-week sprints across the business, for both marketing and product development. The first tip, never start your sprint on a Monday. We found that a Tuesday or Wednesday is the most optimal time and you get the highest level engagement from the team. Second, you'll need a name for these sprints. We simply use the year and the number of the sprint in that year. Day one of our sprint consists mainly of planning. We're assuming that the tasks are ready and have been ranked and refined. A bit more on this later. The planning call is simply the process of the team taking tasks from this backlog and committing to delivering them in the sprint, which is two weeks. It's vital that this call lasts no longer than one to two hours. I've seen teams use a whole day and it's simply because the tasks are not ready and it's such a waste of time. Day three and four is very similar to day two with the stand-up and creative work. But we now have a one-hour call with the entire team to do some task refinement. In the background, the stakeholders have been working on the creative briefs and tasks, and these get reviewed during the refinement call. This call saves a lot of time later on because the team all know by the time a task makes it into the sprint what it's about and what they need to do. Don't spend more than an hour on these calls. You have to time box them. And remember to share your work early and often to get feedback and approval as early as possible. Day five to seven is focus time on creative work and your team can then also start releasing any finished assets. Day eight to nine include another two blocks for refinement if needed. But after day seven, your team should not take on any new tasks. The team should also not be doing any major changes or creative work, only small tweaks. Finally, you should now identify those tasks that will not make the sprint. The team can still work on them, but they will move to the next sprint's board during the next planning session. Day 10 is our final day of the sprint. Apart from getting the final approvals, the team should have the opportunity to present their work to the rest of the business. It's not only important to give the creative and marketing teams airtime, but it also gives other teams an insight into what's happening. 